In this video, we will see how we can download and install C, C++ toolset in Windows computer, which will contain the C, C++ compiler, debugger, etc. What we have to do is we have to open up any browser that is installed in our computer. I have uh, Microsoft Edge. And once the browser is opened, we have to open up the website called as winlips.com. And once we open that, we can see that here we can get the standalone build for uh, uh, GCC, which is the GNU compiler collection, which will provide the C, C++ uh, compilers and other programs. So here we will uh, scroll down and we will go to this download section. And here we will download the latest version. So depending on when you're watching this video and what type of operating system that you have, you have to choose the latest version and also the uh, operating system for which you are downloading. You know, whether you have 32 bit or 64 bit, depending on that, you have to select uh, the proper version. Here I have a 64 bit operating system. So I'm going to go with the 64 bit for this latest version and I will click on this zip archive. So once I click on that, the download process will begin and uh, we just have to wait for this download to complete. So here what we've done is we have downloaded the latest version, POSIX thread and UCRT runtime. And uh, once the download is complete, I will uh, click on this folder icon, which will open up the folder where the downloaded file has been saved. And uh, here what we do is we will right click on this file and we will click on this extract all. And here now we have to select the location where we want to extract the contents of this zip file. So here I will click on this browse and I will select the C drive. You guys can select any other location, but you just have to remember the location. So here I'm going to extract it to my C drive and then I will click on select folder and I will click on extract. Now this will begin the process of extracting the files. Again, we have to wait for this process to finish. Here the extraction process will take more time. So you just have to patiently wait for it to finish. Okay, now once the extraction process is complete here in this folder, which has been opened automatically here, I can find the folder called as mingw64. We have to open up that and here we can find bin and other folders. If I open up the bin folder, then we can see a lot of programs in here. For example, we can find GCC, G++, GDB and other programs. So what we have to do is we have to add the location of this bin folder to the path environment variable so that these programs which are present in this folder are accessible from any folder in this file system. So in order to copy this path, what we do is we will go to this top navigation section and we will left click. Once we do that, it will highlight the path. We will right click and then we will copy the path. Once the path is copied, we will click on the start button and we will search for edit environment variables for your account. And once I click on that, we will get this environment variables section here. User variables and system variables sections are there. In this user variables section, we will select path and then we will click on edit. And now we will click on new. And then here we will right click and we will paste the path that we have copied. And then we will click outside and then we will click on OK. And again, we will click on OK. So now at this particular moment, we can close the folders and the browser that we have opened. Now, the last thing that we do in this particular video is we will make sure that the C, C++ toolset has been installed properly. In order to do that, we will click on the start menu and we will search for CMD and we will open up the command prompt. And here we will type in GCC space minus minus version. And when I hit the enter key, we should get a message like this. If you get any error, then it means that you have made some mistake. You have to watch this video again and follow the step properly. Similarly, we will type in G++ space minus minus version. And now also when I hit the enter key, we should get a message like this. And here with this GCC space minus minus version, we are checking the version of the C compiler that is, in, that is installed. 
and then with the g++ space minus minus version we are checking the version of the uh, c++ compiler that is installed and then finally we will check the version of the debugger that is installed so for that we have to type in gdb space minus minus version and once i hit the enter key we should get the message like this if you get the messages like this it means everything is proper c c++ toolset has been installed properly in your computer so this is it guys for this particular video thank you for watching if you like the video hit the like button if you don't like it hit the dislike button if you have anything to say write that in the comment box for more tutorials subscribe to the channel